Hey guys, and welcome back to my Pokemon Black walkthrough. And in this video, I'm going to be exploring Route 14 and the Abundant Shrine. So, let's use <clears throat> a Max Repel if I can find There it is. So, let's use this and then go down here and battle this trainer. So we're going to be battling like five, maybe six trainers. I think it's about five. No, six. I think six trainers. About six is trainers, yeah. Um, but um, we're also going to be exploring the Abundant Shrine and getting Flamethrower. So that is awesome. We're also going to be finding one of the seven sages as well. So dang it, he uses swagger. And, uh, yep, I'm confused now. And I hurt myself in confusion. This kind of sucks. Oh my god. This is an annoying ass Pokemon. I mean, really? Come on now. Oh, thank god. I thought I was gonna get. Oh god, thank you that I killed that thing. Pretty lucky. Then she's gonna send out Espeon, which is gonna get crunched. So he uses Psycho. I don't have any stat changes, so that's kinda messed up. So I kill that thing. And she's going to send out a Lapras, which I might have to be careful with this thing. But let's see what I can use. I guess I'll just use Dragon Pulse. Holy crap. So I'll use Dragon Dance again. Ah, uh, wow, at least it doesn't know any ice moves. That's good. So then I'll use Dragon Pulse again. So. Oh, oh, he misses. So sweet. So if, as long as he doesn't... Yes, he doesn't use anything. I use Dragon Pulse. And finally kill that Lapras that took forever to kill. So. I level up. Level 68. And defeat Ace Trainer. Um, whatever her name is. So. I switch over in my Pokemon. And then... So, then she's going to send out a Numel, and I'll kill this thing easy. Probably with, uh, actually, hopefully I kill it with the Dragon Pulse. If not, then, well, I don't know, I just won't kill it. So I kill it, and he gives you nothing for experience. So now we're going to go battle this guy. He's a karate dude. And then he's going to send out a primate. Which extra sensory will get to that thing. So extra sensory kills that thing. And I might level up. Well, I get a critical hit as well. So, oh, I don't level up. And then he's going to send out a Zerakazin. And I don't know what that thing is. It is a... Oh, it's this little thing. It's like a... I forgot what its name is, but I'm just going to use Cross Flame and hopefully kill that thing. Oh, no, I didn't. 
Then he uses rock climb. Which says close to nothing. So. Cross limb again. I level up. 218 special attack. Then she's going to send out a polywrath, which... Oh, sorry for this. Um, extra sensory will kill that thing. Why is it lagging so bad? There it goes. Oh, so he flinches, which is good. So it's super effective when I kill it. And I gain some experience. And then it gives you money. So then hopefully you guys have waterfall. If not, you can't come up this way. But I think... He, oh, wow. I don't have it taught to any Pokemon. I need to teach it to one of my Pokemon. But I hope I have it. If I don't have it, I'm going to be mad. Okay, I do have it. So, I can only teach it to my... I'm going to forget Lick. Now I can waterfall up here. So then... We're going to get this Pokeball, which is a Reaper Cloth. That's kind of cool, I guess. Wow, that was an accident. Um, I actually want to come this way because I want to get an item. Which is right there. So it's an ultra ball. And then I'm going to waterfall back up here. I'm trying to figure out how to get over to this place. Oh, here we go. So here's a seven sage member. So we find him, and he is going to give you bulk up. So TM08 bulk up. And then he's just going to talk and say some stuff. Then Looker comes, and he's like, Tell me what you know about Team Plasma. He's like, Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, but. So I actually now I wonder how many more I have left. I'm not sure. So let's battle this guy. So then he's gonna send out Ipodon and why is it lagging so bad? There it goes. So, Turbo Blaze, Sandstream, Gay. Cross Flame equals kill for him. Hopefully. And actually, I gotta use PP Ups on the Cross Flame. Yeah, so he dies. Gain some experience. Buffeted by the Sandstorm. He's gonna send out a Pillow Swine, which will be an easy f Cross Flame kill. Yep, so he dies. <laughs> then he's gonna send out a probe pass, which is rock and steel, so cross flame again I guess will be okay to use. Oh 
Oh wow, they did absolutely nothing. So now I'm gonna figure out what I can use against him. I do I have a fighting Pokemon? So while he's asleep, I'm gonna I know Brick Break, so I'm gonna switch to my Haxorus. This guy's actually being annoying. So he's gonna be asleep. And then fitted by the sandstorm. Then I'm gonna use Earthquake actually. Which will be a ton stronger because it's double super effective. So I will definitely kill this thing. Oh no, I won't. Oh yeah, he has sturdy. So he's still asleep. So then I'm gonna use Brick Break, which kills that thing. Oh, I didn't level up. Are you kidding me? So that's that hiker. So. Now, we're actually, I'm going to be giving my PP ups to my Pokemon. Rashiram, Cross Flame. Rashiram, Cross Flame. Rashiram, Cross Flame. Rashiram, Cross Flame. Oh, it doesn't have any effect. Well, screw off. So, I have three left, and I don't really know what to do with them because I have no effect for them. So, then come down this waterfall. Actually, I want to battle this trainer first. Okay, look at me. Thank you. So. <clears throat> so she's going to send out an Absol. And that'll be okay, because... Cross Flame... And it'll probably take about two hits or one. Wow, that's crazy. This Pokemon is amazing. <laughs> this is going to send out a Dojo. So I guess I'm going to save a Cross Flame and use Dragon Pulse. Which I have two Cross Flames left. Oh, and then he uses Thrash, and that's not going to do. Holy crap. That is a ton. Oh, so I didn't kill it. He's going to use Thrash again. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. No, oh, it did, of course. Confused? Nope. So I'm going to send out this Pokemon because I'm going to use a revival on my Rashiram. He's going to thrash and kill me. And then I'll send out my Rashiram and kill him. So that's good. Thrash. Confused now. So, Rashiram. Turbo Blaze. Extra Sensory. Oh, he uses Thrash again. He better not get a critical hit. Of course. Okay. I was going to say. I thought he did. So, I kill that thing. Level up. Level 68. Then he's going to have a wall rain, and I'm definitely switching because I don't want to deal with that thing right now. Now with my Haxorus, I'm going to use a Brick Break. My Haxorus is almost level 67. My Pokemon are really high levels. Like I said, I recommend training your po your Pokemon all to level 60, like 64, 65 before doing this. It took me four hours, and I had two times the speed on, and so... It's probably going to take you a lot more, maybe eight hours, but um, I recommend it because you're going to be battling trainers with, look at that, it's level 68, and I mean, that's crazy, 5,000 experience, and that's not even with the lucky egg, so, I'm going to switch my Haxorus up in the front. Let me use the dowsing machine. Okay, nothing. So now we're going to go over here. And we're going to be entering the Abundant Shrine. So. I don't think there's much here. But yeah, there is actually. Um, Can we go? Yeah, let's go this way. There's actually some items you can get. 
Here you, oh yes, you can get flamethrower, which I'm going to be teaching to some of my Pokemon. So let me use a, another Max Repel. And I'm actually kind of excited because I actually am almost done with... Well, I'm not excited that I'm almost done with my Pokemon Black Walkthrough. But I'm excited that it went so fast. And I guess... Oh, here you can get a Tiny Mushroom. And then we can also battle this girl. But what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I'm actually surprised that this, this walkthrough went so fast. I probably only have like... Five or six more videos. I'll probably make it 50 videos, which is it's almost exactly half. <clears throat> Excuse me, almost exactly half of the um, videos it took to do Pokemon Platinum. But Pokemon Platinum, I mean that's a longer game. And plus, well actually I don't know if it's a longer game. It's just I was recording parts seven and eight, nine, ten minutes long. These videos, as you can see, are 30 minutes long, almost 25 to 30 minutes long. And that helps a ton. I mean, I mean, it just does. It's it helps a whole lot, and everything. So, I mean, I don't know. I just I just like it a lot better. It's faster. So, whatever. I like doing it like this because I don't have to stop and render a 10-minute video for an hour instead of rendering a 30-minute video for an hour and 15 minutes. It's just three hours to an hour and 15 minutes. It's just so much easier and time and. I mean, I don't have to stop and do a whole bunch of crap, so. Sorry if it's not convenient for you. It's convenient for me, so. Here you can get a tiny mushroom. Tiny mushrooms are common here. So. We can actually get something down here, so I kind of did not get that last time. It's right here. A fragrant mushroom. So now we have two of those. So tomorrow's Thursday and Friday. I have a half day at school, so that's pretty awesome. So we're gonna battle this guy. Ooh, and actually, in this place, you can catch um. Well, the ripples in the water, uh, like on the ripples, like not just regular water, but when the water does that little ripple thing, you can catch slow bro, slow king, and slow poke. But slow bro and slow king are rare, so this sucks for you guys. So then he's gonna send out a pine couple, and I'm gonna use dragon claw on that thing. Oh, yeah, sturdy. That's kind of home roll. So he faints from recoil damage. Then he uses. He's gonna send out a Pandora. And that is. Oh, it's this piece of crap. So I'm gonna Dragon Claw that as well. And so he dies. This Haxorus is extremely strong. So then he's gonna send out a Spinarak. This guy mostly has bug Pokemon, so fire Pokemon you're gonna be okay. And I'm gonna train my Haxorus to level 70. I don't know why, I'm just gonna do it. So Dragon Claw kills that thing. Then he's gonna send out a Masquerain. Intimidate. I don't see how that thing intimidates anybody. Well, besides a little bug, but. Other than that. Kind of stupid. So I kill that thing. Still don't level up. So he gives up and he's like, oh, you Pokemon are strong. Yeah, I know. 
Here you can get a razor fang. There's also a red candy in here. And there's also a trick room. Oh, no, do not go that way yet. We're going to use a repel. So we're going to go up here and battle this chick. And then there's one more trainer after this girl, and we'll be done with trainers in this little wood area. So she's gonna send out a Burmy. I think that's a bug, so I'm not gonna use X Scissor. I mean, I think it's bug and steel. Or no, bug and. I don't know if it's bug and grass. It might just be bug, but whatever. I'm not gonna use anything else. So then she's gonna send out a Mepu Kijig. Uh, the heck? Oh, this thing. Um, I'll use X scissor, X scissor on this thing because it's grass normal. So it's going to be super effective. Oh wow, I didn't kill it. So wood horn, that's probably grass. And then it regenerates its health from that. X scissor. And then he's dead. So I'll level up. Two hundred forty three attack, holy crap. And she's gonna send out a Tangela. So I'll use X scissor. And X scissor again. So I'll kill that thing. And then she's going to send out, or, well, she's not going to send out anything. That was last Makey. And then up here is the last trainer in this place. It is Youngster Lester. And then now we're going to get Trick Room and a Rare Candy. So those are two Im cool things, I guess. Not important, but they're cool. So she's going to send out a Yanma, and that will get Dragon Clawed. And I'll probably... Kill that thing because I think he's not the bulkiest Pokemon. A Lady Bay now. It's a Dragon Claw. He dies. Then he's going to send out a ninja asking. Good thing it's not a shit ninja because I do not want to switch Pokemon. Oh, I was thinking about earlier a, um, I was thinking about earlier about a Wonder Guard Spiritomb or Wonder Guard Cyclo or Sableye. And I thought that'd be a pretty amazing Pokemon ability modifier. <laughs> that would be funny. The only way you could kill it is with like Sandstorm and stuff. So here's the rare candy. Oh, and over here you can get another tiny mushroom. So then we're going to go and get a a big mushroom. Then we're going to come over here and get Trick Room, which makes for five turns any slower Pokemon faster. And I'd actually, I'd actually want it if I was going to make a Trick Room team, or I'd actually want it if this was my, um, uh, game, because most of my Pokemon battles online usually have to do a trick room teams and they usually have to deal with like I'm not using one right now but usually I'll go with a um usually I'll go with um like Pokemon like Rhyperior and like extremely slow Pokemon and teach them like I'll probably teach two three out of the six of them trick room and then have a lot of physical tanks some of them are special tanks, though. Like, 
I don't know, for example, but... So anyways, we're gonna f continue going this way. And... We're pretty much done with this thing. There's actually something over here. A max elixir. Oh crap, I accidentally ripped my paper. So, now I can battle this guy. And I think we might be. No. Well, maybe. Um, we might. Well, no. I'll just save that for you guys for later. So, this guy's gonna send out a barboach. And Dragon Claw will kill that. I hope so. It does. This is gonna send out a whiz cash. So I doubt that that thing will die, but I'll use Dragon Claw, just anyways, instead of a hyper potion. I have time, but whiz cash is gonna survive. Oh no, it doesn't. Wow, thing sucks. Not really, but this is gonna send out a Carvana or Carvana. Carvan, huh? I don't know. I think it's just a weird name. So I'm gonna use Brick Break. Probably should use Egg Scissor. So that thing will die for sure. Rough Skin. Ooh, almost died. So then he's gonna send out a Core Fish. And this thing probably is gonna no protect. So be prepared to be annoyed. No, it doesn't. So I'm gonna use Dragon Claw. And kill this thing. Have one more Pokemon. So no, it doesn't. Wow, I was going to level up, but no. Couldn't. So that's all of the Abundant Shrine. Now we are moving on to Undela Town. Which there's nothing there. This is Omni Town. This is, um... Actually, on Della Town. In Della Town. There's actually a lot of stuff you can do here. But I'll be doing that stuff in the next video. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. In the next video, I will be battling Champion Cynthia of the Chanel region. So, that's all in this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Like I said, in the next video, I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be getting... Dive... Um... Uh, I'm going to battle the champion. I'm going to sell some items. And then, I'm going to battle with the Pokemon Rich Guy. So, yeah. See you later.